what's, what's this book about? Cookbook or, or it's called the Divine anything? Reality, so God, what? Islam, and the Mirage of Atheism. The, the what? Okay, so we can't plug, you can cover the title. So Hamza Tortoise has released this book. Let's get the PDF. Uh, it's just it's cheaper that way. Welcome to BPC. Here we have a Muslim with us today. His name is Hamza. How you doing Hamza? Good. So Hamza is a British public speaker and a researcher on Islam. A British a Muslim convert of Greek heritage. He has a postgrad in philosophy. Thank you. For and he has studied Islamic thought and theology under qualified scholars. Thank you for having he me. He is a popular scholar. Wait, I'm not a scholar. wait. I'm not a scholar. Sorry. <coughs> he is a popular scholar at universities and has conducted many debates amongst notables such as Krauss and Peter Simmons and he makes a mean a British breakfast. How do you make those sausages considering they're haram? Well, We're going to move on. Got to say Hamza Arshad, it's really nice meeting you. How's Diary of a Bad Man going? Let me get straight to the point, yeah? <laughs> My name is Hamza Zordzis. Hamza Tortoise. Hamza Zordzis. This guy taking a mic. What is saying his names? Okay. <clears throat> what? My name is Hamza Zordzis. Muhammad Arshad is somebody else. Okay. So, we obviously got you on a show because you're here to represent all of Islam. Yeah? So you've got a big thing on your shoulders. You have to represent them. So women covering up. Do you make women cover up? Me? No. You don't make women cover up. So your wife is able to go out and you know do what she needs to do to get through. There ain't nothing I can take a chainsaw to. <laughs> what are you talking about? Exactly. So he admits he gets his wife to cover up. No. There you go. Terrorism. Do you know what terrorism means? Uh, yes. It's... So he knows what terrorism means. He's aware of it. Have you seen acts of terrorism take place? Ter no. You haven't ever seen acts of terrorism taking place? Only on TV. You've seen it. So you have seen it. Yes. So you witness and you don't do anything about it. But so you being a Muslim, you see terrorism, and you don't do anything about it. Yes or no? ISIS. Tell me about ISIS. Have you seen them? No. You've never seen them on TV? Well, yeah. So you are aware that they exist? Yes. So you have links with them? No! You don't have links with of them? Of course You've not. never used the links deodorant before? I have. So you do have links? Yeah, but not links You have them. links with ISIS then? Okay, we're gonna move on. There's clearly an emotional attachment with ISIS. I always knew that Hamza was a Muslim funder guy. Because he would just take an empty water bottle with him to a toilet. Terrorist. I always knew there was something odd about this Hamza guy. Now he's been shown to have extreme and terrorist views. It all adds up. I mean, once I remember I saw him trying to feed pigeons some crayons. And he also kicked a dog. Whoa! I'm Meg Tiddleston and I'm bringing you the weather with this super sick hairdo. There has been an awful lot of rain lately. Experts have linked this to a rise in immigration. ISIS has in fact claimed responsibility for their actions, but little is known about whether the Muslim community will in fact condemn these actions. My name's Meg Tiddleston and no, that's not a girl's name. Back to you. Music and dancing, is that haram? I like so can I get up and I start dancing to Bon Jovi, mate? Who's that? Bon Jovi, alright, Adele or any of you t Tyler Swift guys. Can I bang on a track and you're gonna dance with me? You wanna dance with me? I wanna dance with you. Is it allowed within Islam, yes or no? Well, you can dance with me. So it's allowed, you're gonna dance with me, with music? Well, in Music's order, permissible. In so this is a fatwa. Did I pronounce it properly? What? This is a fatwa. How many times you need to come into the shop and please uh, lower your voice, so because it's coming across quite rude and I'm feeling very intimidated as it is. So I'm not a all the Muslims watching, mu music is now permissible. We do not want Sharia law. Can you tell your people that we don't want Sharia law in Britain? Can you in look order at that? For you to understand. Can, Sharia law. Can you look at the camera, please? The segment is very short. Can you please give us a quick answer? Sharia law, no Sharia law. Go. No. We believe, we believe, we believe in okay. the rule of law. There you go. No Sharia law. You heard them. Here, no Sharia law, please. Do you believe in evolution of Darwin? Yes or no? Darwin's dead. 
That's got nothing to do with the question. You can see Muslims love their, you know, going beaten around the bush. That's how they've assimilated in our societies. You do takia, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. which is hiding the truth from the disbelievers. Mm-hmm. You're not even allowed to be around disbelievers. Is this is this space okay? Are you allowed? Is this permissible by your scriptures? You can eat my food. That's you, can you eat this? Is that permissible? I, I can you? Do you want to eat this, mate? No. You can't. There you go. This is what Muslims are doing. They're coming into our country and they're just messing everything. They don't even want to eat our food. Yeah, you can see clearly the guy said no to the food and I'm being very kind and generous. I'm not yeah? hungry. I'm being merciful, I'm being accommodating, these guys just don't want to integrate but I'm not me. Hungry. Yeah, I don't even know, he's, do you see he's not even shaking my hand? <laughs> do you see he he's refusing to shake my hand? I, this is what's was, going on. I, I think we should cut to the uh, break. Let's go to the break. Good interview. Very good, you've done, you done excellent. So how long are you here for? To be honest, this Hamza Giza, I met him once at a barbecue and the way he was turning over that meat and digging his fork into it and cutting it up into pieces, I looked at the fella and I said, this is a bit extreme, he's enjoying it a bit too much. He um, was flexing himself, his muscles uh, in the office, um, I mean, it's no doubt, I mean, that this is, we saw this coming a mile away. Are you someone who likes poo, <laughs> stew, or crap? Whatever you youngsters are calling it nowadays. Don't worry, we've turned it into a friendly little pillow. You can sleep with this pile of poo right next to you. That rhymes, I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Okay guys, we are back with this recovering Muslim terrorist. He's renounced all of that, he doesn't want Sharia law and he's happy with taking some chicken as well. Thank you. There you go. How does it feel being a recovered terrorist and extremist that wanted to demolish British society? How do you feel? I I never wanted to demolish any society. That's very interesting. I'm really listening to what you have to say. Look, yes and no doesn't represent me and it doesn't represent you. Do you believe in abortion? Yes or no? How many well, days in a week? Yes or no? Well, that di- What's your name? Yes or no? Well, my name... Obviously. What are your views on social political affairs? Yes or no? Does well, yes really represent who you are? Would you agree that socialism, fascism, social Darwinism, Stalin, Stalin? Stalinism, communism, all the perceived evils, right? Do you believe that they are as a result of a secular model? Well, I think we've developed over time, so... Irrelevant! The point is, are these isms and schisms the result of secularism? Let me remind you about what happened under Stalin. Communist rule killed six million Christians, correct? And that's a product of separation of church and state. It is. Uh, uh, so is this type of communism secular, yes or no? Well, um, it's difficult to give yes, yes or no answers. Yes or no. Oh, so it's difficult to give yes or no answers because they don't represent you. No. But when you turn the tables and you expect me to say yes or no, then you think it's fine. Listen, my friend, if yes or no doesn't represent you, then how is it going to represent me? In order for you to understand anything about Islam, you have to understand its concept. And if you're sincere, and I believe you're sincere, then you really want to connect with me and find out what the true answers are. So, Muslims and terrorism, do you agree with it? Yes or no? Muslims don't believe in terrorism. <laughs> and in order for you to understand why they don't believe in terrorism, you have to understand the concept of Islam. Are you going to give me time to explain the concept? Of course I'm not going to give you time, mate. Yeah, because we're on a live show, because mate. Because you're the BPC. Yeah, one thing that really affected me and that really showed me that he's a little bit extreme was I walked into the toilet, it was a public toilet, and I walked in and I'm just peeing in the sink. From that day I knew that <laughs> something is right in his head. The only comes I know is a terrorist. Tell me, tell us right now what the concept of Islam is. Go. 
The concept of Islam is that we believe in one creator who created everything that deserves to be worshipped, which means to love him, to know him, and to express all gratitude and direct our acts of worship to him alone. And this will create peace in ourselves and peace in society. So therefore we are an expression of that worship, which is an expression of peace and harmony, not just for Muslims but for everybody. As the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace said, love for humanity what you love for yourself. So no, we don't believe in terrorism. That doesn't sound too bad. I'd like to hear more. Uh, after this uh, show concludes and the guy who's behind us disappears but uh, we're going to continue uh, Hamza Tortoise uh, Diary of a Bad Man uh, Wing Chun artist and uh, full English I'll be coming to your restaurant uh, where is your restaurant? I don't have a restaurant he doesn't have a restaurant he's been so humble and modest so check out his book uh, what's, what's this book about? cookbook? or what's it's what's called The Divine Reality, reality so God, what? Islam and the Mirage of Atheism the, the what? Okay, so we can't plug, we can't cover the title. So Hamza Tortoise has released this book. Uh, it's up to you to uh, check it out, but just get the PDF. Uh, it's just it's cheaper that way. Nice to meet you um, next time on the BPC.